out baseball. Today, what we're going to work on, we're going to work on our uh, full work as far as throwing. Uh, one of the biggest drills that we do here on a daily basis is our connection ball drill. Uh, our connection ball drill, we, we do it pretty religiously to try to get us in what we call the fighter pose. What the fighter pose is, is the pose that we get into as a catcher before we throw. Um, we also use, we use our agility ladders, our, our catchers, to make sure that we do this uh, every day to keep our feet ready to go and ready to throw. It's a little bit different variation and it requires a little bit of uh, different uh, technique, but uh, also uh, really works really well as far as getting our guys ready, okay? So Skyler's gonna show us what that looks like. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get ready. We allow that catcher to get in his stance, get ready, toss him the connection ball, and he gets it up, ready to throw. First couple, we wanna be nice and easy, nice and slow, and give him a chance to go through, go through that progression, okay? As we get to it, we go a little faster, and we go, we go, we go, okay? Next one, as we go as fast as we can. Good. Now, the reason we use the agility ladder is because what we're trying to teach our catchers to do is we're trying to teach our catchers to get that first step. That first step is one of the most crucial steps as far as the catcher's concerned. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get him to get that first step moving forward and get that jab step flow. So we get that turn and get in that first box. We get that in that first box and we want to be in either the third box or the second. Okay? So we go here, we'll move. This is up here. The first reason we do the agility ladder is we want to make sure that we get that step. Now, agility ladder might be a little bit more expensive. You say, okay, coach, I can't afford an agility ladder and I can't, I can't afford one of these connection balls. Real simple. You can make you a ladder with paint on the ground. Our guys do it all the time. Our infield coach is always doing ladders on the ground using paint, uh, spray paint. It's pretty cheap. A uh, dollar, you know, do dollar a can of spray paint just to spray the ladder. Just you just need to know where those steps are going to go. So that's something that can be done very easily. Second thing is the plow wall can be purchased at Walmart. Any kind of any kind of ball works. Uh, deflated basketball. Uh, any kind of bouncy ball, anything that allows you to get your two hands, to catch it with two hands and get in that fighter stance position is what we're looking for, okay? The next progression that we go to after this is we go to our, our, our plow balls. The reason we use our plow balls is because we want our guys to really work on their strength and controlling the baseball and getting it to their hand instead of throwing it, okay? The plow balls, if you throw it, you won't be able to control it like you need to. So we use the plow balls that are a little bit heavier do two, two different plow balls. The reason we use two different plow balls is because we want that feed to be varied for our catcher. We don't want to keep just giving that feed right down the middle, right down the middle, right down the middle. So we're going to do the plow balls, which are heavy, okay, which are heavy. We're going to alternate these, okay, one's bigger, one's a little smaller. So Scott is going to show us exactly what it looks like. He gets in his stance. We're going to make sure we alternate them nice and easy so that he gets his feet in the right spot. Faster. Okay, good. And then at the end, we go as fast as we can go. Boom. Don't get too upset with your guys dragging their feet and hitting the ladder because what we don't want them to do is we don't want them to have to work to step up. We, we always want to maintain as, as long as possible two feet on the ground. Two feet is where you make your best throw. So if your guy hits the ladder, Pulls it a little bit, it's okay. Okay? We're just trying to work those feet, work the hands with the plow balls, to make sure that those guys are staying strong. Johnny Cardenas here uh, with SFA Baseball and Figured Out Baseball. We just did our ladder drill, um, just an easy way for our guys to learn how to get their feet in the right position. You can paint that on the ground, you can use uh, Walmart uh, bouncy balls, you can use waterlogged baseballs for, for the alternate feeds. Uh, just any, anything that you can do to, to simulate that move, to get that jab step in the right spot. That's the, the purpose of the drill. The next thing that we're going to go into, if you, we're going to go into blocking, uh, there's a device called the Core Velo Belt that we use. That Core Velo Blocking or Bungee Blocking, if you want to call it that. Appreciate you guys watching our videos. And if you have any questions or whatever, please reach out. And we wish you the best in your catching.